I'm standing here in the kitchen, you know, washing dishes, singing praises and melodies to the Lord. And, and it just dropped in my spirit. God is going to bring us out of this thing. Like he did the children of Israel with a strong hand, hey, glory, hallelujah. And no one will be able to take the credit but him. But here's what he placed in my spirit. Don't forget. Don't forget who brought you out when you come out. Don't forget. Don't forget like the children of Israel did. We can't, we have to use them as our example in this thing. Don't forget who brought the deliverance when it comes. Don't forget all the vows that we're making to God right now, huh? All the promises that we're making to him, all the commitments that, and the recommitments and the rededications. Don't forget. Don't come out of this thing and forget about God because he's been mindful about us in this thing. He paid for everything that we're going through. It's already been paid. Jesus paid the debt on Calvary. Our deliverance, our healing, our freedom, all of that was paid for. But dare we forget who brought us, who kept us, who healed us, who provided, who protected, huh? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Dare we get, get out into the world again and forget our great God. Beloved, don't forget him. Don't, hey, glory. We're making a lot of promises right now. We're making a lot of commitments and a lot of vows. God don't have no pleasure in vows that we don't pay. Be careful. If we're uttering things just because we want to get out, if we're making promises that we're not going to keep in our heart, keep it to yourself. Because God takes no pleasure in foolishness. We've got to mean what we say. If we commit in our lives to God, we got to be honest. We got to be real. We have to be sincere in our commitment. Don't leave your house and forget about the God you made all those promises to. He'll remind us, mm, help us, holy God. He will remind us of the words we spoke to him. Huh? Oh, I'm rem I, can, I can testify. I was in a, I was in a situation and I made a promise to God and I promised him that if he would get me out and if he would do this, that, and the other, and he would protect this and he would do that, I made him a promise that I would serve him with all my life. When it came time and he had done everything I'd asked him to do, <laughs> he came back to me and he said, Nanda. He said, remember what you asked me? And I said, yes, Lord. He said, now you look, I kept my promise. Now keep your word. You promised me that you would serve me with your whole life. Oh, God, help us today. Jesus, help us, help us. Because we don't understand what it means to serve God with our whole life. With our whole, it means that we don't own ourselves anymore. He purchased us with his own blood. He died and he gave his own body for us. So we now become his servants. He owns everything about us. We can't just say and pick and choose what we will and will not do, what we will and will not say, what we, what we will and will not be. He's already determined that before the foundations of the world. Uh, he said before that, he said, you my workmanship. I have pre-planned works for us to do together. I pray, I say, I died so you could be saved. I prayed to the Father for you. So let's remember all the things that we're saying and promising and, 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 and uh, 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 making vows to God about right now. So when he does deliver us, when our deliverance comes, because it's going to come, we're not going to be here forever. We don't forget him and forsake the things that we spoke. And he have to make us remember the words that we said. Be encouraged, beloved. God loves us. But let's not be foolish and let's not try to play a game on God because he knows our hearts.